It's an early morning this morning after a late night last night, and uh, I want to uh, thank the Lansing Symphony Orchestra, and uh, particularly Carolyn Takashi Abo and Igor Chepkovich, because they came last night uh, to Lake Lansing, where I live on the lake there, and uh, they came to the gazebo and they played for half an hour with the music uh, there wafting over the lake and throughout the area there. And Carol Abo is on the other end of our AT&T line right this very moment. Violin player from the Lansing Symphony Orchestra. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Well, thank you very much for not only getting up early to take this call, but for staying there at, uh, in the twilight yesterday at sunset with me and playing that beautiful music, including Moon River, which we're hearing in the background, and Servant Song you played, and Elvis Presley even, I Can't Help Falling in Love with You. That was very nice, too. And, uh, and your husband, and you were just charming people, and I just loved having you there. Thank you for that. Well, thank you for having us. Now, you told me last night that the three of you had, playing there had done something that you'd never, ever done before. What was it? Well, we have never played for a proposal. And you did last night. You played for a proposal. And uh, the way that you scored it was just beautiful. We had uh, white roses and uh, pink champagne and the three of you from the Lansing Symphony Orchestra and uh, came around the corner from the condo along the lake. And Lisa hornberg Rocco, who I proposed to yesterday, stopped in her tracks when she heard the servant song being played. And she looked up and she said, what is that? And, and sure enough, it was the three of you in the gazebo playing uh, the songs. And then she just was sort of drawn to you and kept walking. And she said, my gosh, what, what have you done? And it was just one of the most romantic moments you could ever imagine. To describe what happened then and what you saw and how it went. Well, it kind of felt like I was in a movie. I just saw the two of you come around the corner and she just stopped and was just stunned. And it was really amazing to see that the power of the music had just completely stopped her in her tracks. And then to see the two of you walk up there and you got on bended knee, I started to tear up a little bit. <laughs> and it was just such a beautiful moment. And we were really excited to be a part of it. Well, it was very, very special and very intimate, too, with the three of you playing like that. And you just kept playing Servant Song over and over. And uh, as you can imagine, I was on my knee for quite some time. Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> waiting for the yes. You were, too. Well, the yes came, and it was an emphatic yes for sure. And there were tears all around and that sort of thing. And to be able at our age to, to have a moment like that and have it be so special with you was really, really cool. And... Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but but um, you've never played for a proposal before and an engagement before, so that's a first. And then we all had some champagne together, and we talked about you and your husband married ten years now. Both of you musicians, both of you violin players. So I mean that's pretty good karma. Ten years, uh, you know. I, I was comforted by that. Put it that way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're pretty lucky, I think. Um, I asked you what your secret was uh, to ten years of marriage, and and you said that uh, he's perfect. I think so. <laughs> and he demurred and said, well, not, I'm not always perfect. So I thought that was awfully nice. But, so well, he, yeah. when, you, when, you, when you've played weddings, you've, but you've never played a proposal before, and uh, did you enjoy it? Was, it? was it fun? Yeah, it was great. We really all enjoyed it very much. We weren't quite sure what to expect, but it was just um, such a powerful moment. There were so many emotions, and we could just really pick up on the energy, and it was great. Yeah, and there were candles. It was just, it was really special and really fun. And then we lit one of those white, uh, I guess they're called Chinese lanterns that uh, oh, yeah. it, it floated out over the lake when we were done. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to thank you and the Lansing Symphony Orchestra. I know you have a concert coming up in September. Yes, we do. What will you be playing? Oh, we're playing the Brook Violin Concerto and Tchaikovsky Five. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, and it, it's interesting how versatile you were, too, to play Servant Song, which is very, very important to uh, to Lisa and myself. And then you uh, you could play something as powerful as that with its religious connotation and then go ahead and play When You Wish Upon a Star, which I thought was pretty cool, too. <laughs> and you even played a little Elvis Presley. Yeah, I mean, we like all kinds of music. I mean, we study classical, but we enjoy all sorts. If God came to you, Carol Abo, from the Lansing Symphony Orchestra, and said, play for me, what song would you play? Oh, wow, that's a tough question. Um, I think I would choose some solo box from the, the violin sonatas and partitas. Mm, that's beautiful stuff, and, yeah. and this appreciation for music and the way you scored that moment yesterday was really, it was like a movie for me, too. Oh, and, uh, well, that's nice. I think I cried first, but I heard you said that you were almost in tears, too. I, I was 
was I was in tears. <laughs> it was a little hard to concentrate. We thought it was such a beautiful <laughs> moment going on, but it it was really special. Well, please uh, thank Takashi again for me too, and everybody at the orchestra who helped arrange it all. And Igor was very fun too. We all had a glass of champagne afterward and got a chance to talk and celebrate a little bit with uh, Lisa Hornberger Rocco, the soon-to-be Lisa Shields. And